Hi, I'm Liz and I bought a 32 foot project canal boat for my first home. Two things I've always wanted in life, to be mortgage free and to be able to travel. Buying a canal boat seemed the perfect idea. Follow me as I restore her into a luxurious home on a budget and explore the British waterways. Hello! So, first day of lockdown, it is Thursday. Uh, it's going to take a long time to get out of this. Luckily, I'm able to still go and come to my studio. I'm completely contained and I'm able to go to work because I can't work from home. So, today I'm going to be working on a canvas and trying out a different colour combo that I haven't tried before. See what happens. So, 
Yes, what I've been working today are these few little watercolours and I'm working on a commission. So I've been trying my best to get back into the groove of things. Um, I've really enjoyed today. Um, I wanted to go down the boatyard this week um, but it, came, it became apparent that I need to work even harder to um, get more money for the boat. Oh, it's the same old story. So yeah, I've just been really trying to work as hard as I can for the boat. I had a bit of a run in yesterday. I was getting, going to my car, I'd finished late from work, it must have been about eight o'clock at night and I had parked, I'd gone to get some milk from the petrol station and there was this van outside and there was three men inside and they were just had their hands on the horn. There was no one else there. And I went to cross in front of their van and then they just started parking their horn at me and shouting abuse and shouting oi at me and trying to get me to go over to their van and just like being really leery. And I had such a long day and I was so fed up of you know, when you're in these scenarios, you have to always think, is this a safe scenario for me to tell someone to jog on? And I just turn around and if you don't like bad language, then uh, mute this bit. But I walked past the van, there's three, I could see three men leering at me, um, shouting about um, my boobs. And I just went, suck my dick. And uh, they were like, oh. Oh. And then they just got really aggressive, shouting at me to come over to the van. And I got on my car and uh, I waited till they drove away. I shouted back because I was so angry. You know, there's always the danger that they're gonna like follow you to, to your car. And when you turn someone down or you reject them, or a lot of instances I've, I've had experience throughout my life, if you, if you're trying to reject someone, you have to weigh up the odds whether you're safe or not to do so. Like how how can you reject them nicely? Can you if they're being really inappropriate, if they're touching you, can you just tell them to fuck off? You know, are they going to get aggressive or violent with you? Um, yeah, and I'm just so tired of this thing of being scared when you get in your car walking home and having your keys in your hands and not wearing headphones and telling everyone constantly where you're going to be if you're going out on your own. But it was just like, if I was silent, these men were gonna just carry on thinking it, it was all right. And they probably do carry on thinking it was all right. But I wanted them to just get a shock back of having someone look them in the eye and be like, no. Nah. So that was my experience yesterday. So I've just been in a bit of an odd mood today. And I know people gonna put, uh, some people are gonna be like, oh, it's not all men. And I know that, but when you're walking down the street or if you've got someone who's like walking behind you, the thought in your head doesn't go, oh, it's not all men. I'll probably be fine. Like you can't have that attitude. You're not gonna be safe with that attitude, but yeah. So that was my experience yesterday. And it's not the first time something like that has happened to me. It's happened loads of times. It's happened loads of times to my friends. Um, it's just, I don't want to be catcalled at like eight at night and I've had a long day of work in the middle of a pandemic. I'm not, I'm not interested. But yeah, that's what's happened in my little world. Right, time to get home. I'm absolutely tired, I'm really starving. Uh, it's Friday, I'll be back to work on Saturday. And excitingly enough, Maddox Black 3 is gonna be released on December 1st. And it's called The Rising Shadow of Maddox Black. So excited. You thought it got away, didn't you? You poop. Yeah. 
Yeah. What is this? I look like a fisherman of Blumanges or something on Pokemon. So working really hard to... Oh, fucking hell, this is difficult. Oh, where's the light? The light hill, the light, where is the light? 